Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Serana, we've filled the final ewer. It is time for us to head into the Inter Sanctum. Let's go. Prelate, have a good day. That has to be the place. I've never seen a building like that before. It looks like some kind of temple. I believe it's what's referred to as the Inner Sanctum. By the blood. Wait a minute. Do you see that moving up ahead? Some sort of giant. I think it means to block us. Indeed it does. for your mercy and your strength and your divinity. Let's go. You can, Serana. creature up ahead. <laughs> Even my mightiest blows, augmented with the power of Stendar, had practically no that effect. Has to be the place. And of course I've we know that your like that vampiric like abilities time. really don't make, make much of a difference either. You know? Alright, I think we need to do this from a distance. Could I not have hit him? Who's there? There you Serana, are. don't push me. Even these arrows are barely phasing it. Fell. What have you got? Well, I'm starting to get some traction. But 
but its health is still Serana, please, you cannot stand in front of me. It's not reacting. But its health isn't going down either. I'm not gonna die like this. Serana. Have it from both sides. Kill the beast. I'm trying. Behind you, Serana. Tough day for you. No! thought I was supremely powerful. Well, certainly that has to be the place. I've never seen a building like that before. It looks like some kind of temple. This certainly kind of makes me I've understand my limitations. Makes everything All right, let me Serana, if you don't be quiet. Let me see if I can Increase my damage. By praying to Stendar and channeling divinity. Wait. I knew it. Get close to it. Serana, you cannot move across into my fire. You know I'm back here. Tough day for you. It's gonna be a tough day for you if you jump in front of my arrows again. Tell if channeling divinity is helping. I'm not hitting it at all now. There. I still remember how to fight. While it's suspended like that, let's try something else. 
I don't know if the Storm of Vengeance will help. seems unaffected. Try a firestorm. It doesn't seem to have any effect either. None that I can tell. How about another one? And another. Stendar, be with me. I've drained my magicka. All right, let's see. Hell, ah, there. It is about to go down. Kill the beast. You're killing me. There, finally. No, it's still not dead. There. This won't end well for no, you. it's still. Done and done. Is it done? All right, I suppose it is, finally. Let's see if it's carrying anything. I'm not sure I can even loot the body. There. All right, so I'll take back these dwarven bolts. I don't think we need this axe. I'll take the gold, the rainbow piece. I can summon this giant. I don't know if I would ever need to. Oh, look at the, the staff of the ebony giant. A great sword. Um, okay, I can carry that. I'll take that for the gold. All right, that should do. All right, Serana. Let's continue. It humbles me to know that I had to use my full power. And still, it was barely enough. It took forever to vanquish that foe. This is a statue of Aria, but it's using the older signs of his power. This temple must be ancient. The bow has to be in here. Let's go. Oh, wait. An excavation site. I have much work to do when I get back. All right, the divinity has faded. Much work to do when I get back to the, um, uh, 
the guild house, the explorer's guild. Stendar, thank you for your divinity in helping me defeat that immensely powerful foe. All right, here it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. I must empty the water from the ewer. Look, something's happening. Come on. Oh, this isn't good. I got a blizzard inside. Looks like the cause of it. Some sort of giant monster. A giant ice Atronach. Who's there? You knew I heard something. Well. The ice certainly didn't stand up to the fire. And I'm sorry, Serana. What's happening to me? I've become immaterial. A frost monarch. Ice Blade of the Monarch. Good, you're better. Activate the Shrine of Oriel. Oh, what's this? Abandoning the mortal world as a mistake? The King of the Gods challenges his elven children to obtain perfection and regain their lost divinity. A follower learns all skills faster. The tenants are to fulfill your destiny by saving Tamriel. Master all skills. Become Oriel's champion at Oriel's sacred chantry. High elves are most deserving of the favor. I will follow Stendar for now. Oh, a jade dragon. I think we're in the market for these at the Dragonborn Gallery. Elven Sword of Crumpling. You know, it would be nice to know what crumpling actually does. We'll leave it. It's interesting that my fire spell only destroyed the ice monarch and not the other things that are frozen in here. It's quite selective. So we have an altar. Ah, I can set the ewer here. Let's go. Just an ordinary skeleton. I'm still immaterial since casting that spell. Uh-oh. What is that, one of those giants? Look 
scout. I'm going to use my spell again. Actually, I might be able to get closer. Here, Frost Giant. Feel the power of Stendar's flames. It's still not down. Serana. Oh no, I took her down. All right then. I think I remember the last one I could barely contain, but it's injured. Physical attacks against these creatures. Look at this. A ruby paragon. Something here in the corner I incinerated. Like a, another way. But I don't have the the ewer. Alright, let's get out of here. I suppose I could grab the ewer and run back in here, but let's just go. Come on out. Come on! Go. So these frozen creatures, staff of ice spikes. Oh, they have weapons and whatnot, but uh, we'll leave them here. Bell Tome of Tumble Magnet. Alright. I'll leave that alone as well. Wondering if, if any of these uh, creatures are carrying something that might be extremely valuable. Look at this. What is this thing here? Circlet of Water Breathing. I think I know that enchantment, though. Let's keep going. to the map, it's this way to Oriel's chapel. Oh. And I'm immaterial again. sitting atop the throne. He must be the Arch Curate. Hmm. And Serana is not with me. This should be interesting. Did you really come here to 
expecting to claim Ariel's bow. You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end. What? And so is the usefulness of these thralls of yours. Here comes Serana, it's about time. Watch out, he's pulling down the ceiling. Wow. it now. Your life ends here. Child, my life is No. Anyone else? Anyone else want to face the fires of Stendar? Surrender, Arch Curate. We can do this. I know we can. Uh, He's up there on the balcony. Come uh, on. Uh, okay. Uh. Enough, Bertha. Give us the bow. Over here. I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god. Until the betrayed corrupted you. Yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelabor and his kind are easily manipulated fools. Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You... You're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire, and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire, Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. Look out. You're not getting the best of me. Let's see. Was that was way too easy. 
I'm sorry, Serana. My light powers sometimes are even more than I can control. All right. Vertha is destroyed. Elven Dagger of Blizzard take targets take 23 points of frost damage. Take the diamond and the ruby. I suppose I could sell this. I still have room. Oh, we can take this curious. Yes, these are quite rare pieces of armor. Look at it. Look at the light. The beautiful light. If only you could enjoy it the way I do. Come on, Serana. Ah. Well, look who it is. Knight Paladin. So the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Vertha must be dead. And the betrayed no longer have control over him. The betrayed weren't to blame. What? What are you talking about? He was a vampire. He controlled them. A vampire? I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Why? Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. Hm, you're welcome. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you've restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain sun-hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. I appreciate it. Look there, Serana. It's Oriel's bow. Alright, if you don't want to see it, I'll just go in here and take it. So we have pathways to every place we've visited since we first came here. It's good to speak to you again. Yes. If there's anything at all I can help you with, please ask. What can you tell me about Oriel's bow? The bow was said to be carried by Oriel himself into battle against the forces of Lorcan in ancient and mythic times. Its craftsmanship has no equal anywhere within Tamriel. And possibly beyond. What can it do? The bow draws its power from Aetherius itself, channeling it through the sun. Therefore, when an arrow is loosed from the bow, it produces a magical effect very similar to being burned by fire. It sounds... powerful. That's actually only a fraction of its potential. Really? With sun-hallowed arrows, you would be able to produce a much more spectacular effect, causing bursts of sunlight to envelop your foes. The sunbursts would certainly hurt anything, but is especially devastating to the undead. Well, I don't mean to brag, but I can create those bursts of sunlight with just a gesture. I don't need a bow and arrow to accomplish it. But tell me, Vertha said something about using blood? Well, using an arrow with the bow that's been dipped in blood may cause it to function differently, corrupting its purpose. That's, of course, if you're foolish enough to try it. Hmm. And how do I obtain sun-hallowed arrows? I can actually assist you in that regard. Can you? If you were to bring me some good quality elven arrows, I could imbue them with the proper incantations and rituals. All right. Can you make me some sun-hallowed arrows? Certainly. 
I can only do 20 at a time, but I see that won't be a problem in this case. Okay, can you make it, me some more? I'm afraid I'll need elven arrows if you want me to produce the sun-hallowed arrows. And it seems you're all out of them at the moment. Well, I hope this will be enough. Can the betrayed ever be cured? I feel nothing but sympathy for the betrayed, despite my actions against them. But I'm afraid that they're well beyond a cure at this point. Why? The twisted forms you've seen didn't occur overnight. It isn't a plague or a disease that ravaged our species. The dwarves may have stolen their sight, but it took many generations for them to become what they are today. Then there's no hope for them. Perhaps they'll never return to their former appearance. But over the centuries, I've noticed a rise in their intellect. If a line of communication could be established with them, maybe they can find peace. It's the only way they'll discover that they weren't always malignant. They were once a proud and prosperous race. What will happen to the Chantry now? Why it would fill me with joy to see the Chantry back to its former glory. That time has long since passed. Now that my brother's dead, it's quite possible I'm the last of our kind. Then I've contributed to your kind's extinction. There's no need for that kind of talk. I said it was possible. It's also quite possible that there are some other isolated conclaves of Snow Elves, nestled elsewhere on Nern. I'll also assume Vertha didn't exactly give you the option to stay your hand. Uh, absolutely not. So, what will you do then? For the time being, I will remain here, on the Overlook, and continue trying to keep the Sanctum free of the betrayed. You're always welcome to return here at any time, of course. All right. Thank you. You're always welcome to return here at any time, of course. I would ask you to come with us, but I think this if is a anything fight. anything at all I can help you with, please ask. That the Vigilant and the Dawn Guard will have to take to the vampires. If there's assistance I can provide, just ask. No, it's there, the there least isn't. I can do. There is no more assistance. You've done all that you possibly can. Serana. Before we return back to Skyrim, I'd like to find the remaining Paragons. And we should be able to go through these portals to locate them.